Yeah. Uh, good evening. Yeah, you know, I've been promising you uh, to do give you the list of the diseases that uh, are really disturbing us. Uh, first and foremost, there is no standard vaccination schedule for both goats and even cows. But that depends. You might find that in Uganda, we vaccinate this. In Kenya, they vaccinate that. In uh, Burundi, they vaccinate that. But you know, <clears throat> that is determined by the diseases that mostly attack you. You get it? So, here in Uganda, the most common diseases that sometimes attack us, or some of them that really causes uh, the, the, the quarantines and everything, uh, these are some of the diseases that you read it, people have to master. Uh, I will start with goats. I will start with goats. These are some of the diseases that you don't have to um, forget uh, in a year. Because me, I vaccinate on a yearly basis. I told you it is very cheap for you to vaccinate a disease than treating a disease. The only problem that we have as farmers, first and foremost, we only wait for an outbreak. And that's when we think about of vaccinating, which is completely wrong. If you're a farmer and you know that you're dealing with animals that are really expensive, I don't know any reason why you have to wait for an outbreak to come and then you start panicking with vaccination. Let me tell you one thing. For the goat's vaccine, the most expensive vaccine goes for 2000 The goats that you rear, let it even be locals, they go for 200000 plus. Let it even be 100000 Can't you really uh, sacrifice 2000 to vaccinate or to save 100000 So you people, I don't see any reason why you have to wait for an outbreak to happen. And then you start fidgeting that you're going to vaccinate you're going to do what let's have this chat for the goat farmers get your pen and write down most of you people when i share with you the acronyms or the uh i share with you the 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 the, the abbreviations you tell me to uh, tell you the the, the 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 full names of which even if I tell you the full names, you say, I have not understood it. So, you continue. Because these are the common names that we call these vaccines and the diseases. Uh, the goat farmers, please help me and get pens and note this. If you do this, it doesn't matter how long you take. If there is an outbreak, you might decide to vaccinate every after two weeks. If you, um, if there is no outbreak, it's better you even take a month or two months continuing uh, uh, or two months to vaccinate the other. Don't mix all these vaccines unless it is a cocktail of many diseases uh, packed together, vaccine packed together for many diseases. But you don't mix the three or the two vaccines and say, I don't have time, let me vaccinate all of these at a go. So, uh, the goat farmers, write down this. There is a disease called PPR. Just write the word PPR. Even if you go on Google, it will bring you the full names of PPR. So, write that is one of the vaccines. I said you can skip a, a month, you can speak two weeks, you can skip uh, whichever time you want. And you go for another vaccine. But don't mix the vaccine. So vaccinate PPR. Then. And it does not necessarily mean that. This is the arrangement that you have to follow. If there is. Whichever vaccine you want. You start with it. As long as you vaccinate all of them. In a year. Uh, after PPR. Write CCPP. Then there is another vaccine. Called POX. Goat and sheep pox. So also vaccinate it. Also vaccinate brucella meritensis or brucellosis meritensis. That is the brucella for goats. Also vaccinate clostridios. 
Clostridios is a cocktail of many diseases. So you also vaccinate it. But we always vaccinate this when animals are pregnant. It's always preferable to be vaccinated when the animals are pregnant. Such that they can transfer the immunity to the babies too. You get it? And when the babies are also vaccinated, are also produced after like three months or three weeks, sorry, three months, you can again reboost and vaccinate for cross studios. Then also vaccinate for what they call off, the off disease. So for the cow, for the goats, that is most common diseases. So please, if you vaccinate for that, you're safer. Let me also talk about those of cattle. Also, the cattle farmers follow this. Vaccinating is better than treatment because sometimes you treat and animals fail to respond. But when you vaccinate, let's have this. Let's write down and say that if we have vaccinated all these diseases in a year, let's call it a day. Don't wait for an outbreak. Make sure that every yard, the way you know that every week I'm spraying my animals, just put it in place that every year I'm going to vaccinate for these diseases. You might decide even to say that at the beginning of the year, let me start with a disease called so and so till when you finish all these diseases. Or if you don't want to do it uh, frequently, you can skip every after two weeks you vaccinate a certain disease, then you wind it up. So in cattle, write the following. FMD is foot and mouth disease. Uh, vaccinate CBPP. I said FMD. I said CBPP. That is also another uh, disease or the vaccine you have to vaccinate. You also vaccinate for E C F. Write that. Also vaccinate for brucellosis. They call it Brucella bovis. For the gods, it was Brucella meritensis. Then vaccinate anthrax. Again, vaccinate black quarter. Vaccinate clostridios. Also, it's really very good to vaccinate that when the animals. Are pregnant then also vaccinate lump skin the moment you wind up with all those vaccines my dear you'll be safer if you don't vaccinate for all those diseases you're taking your neighbors to be at risk you're putting your animals to be at risk if your animals are expensive in millions of money vaccinating is cheaper than treatment so, my dear, that is the vaccination schedule for goats and cows. Thank you very much. Let me just wish you the best. Bye.